Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad and welcome back to Splatoon 3. And now let's keep going into the next level, since we are... a bit over halfway through this world. So let's go. Low vis, high risk. Cut through the fog and find the goal. Why is there fog? Why is there fog? <laughs> it's fine, there's just fog. Oh my gosh, fog. 0.52 gal, let's go. Fog. Is that an Octo Sniper? Turn it around, now's your chance. Oh, hello. It's fine. Nice gate, it's giving... Inviting an ominous. Ah, uh, bad visibility and Octo Sniper. What a combo. Well, let's do this then. Just destroy everything. It's really weird having fog and not just being, being able to see normally. Also, the 52 gal is pretty good. It's a precise weapon and it keeps shooting, which is nice. Oh, hello. I want this. And then let's do that. There's also an Octobomber that I need to be careful of. How did they dodge that? Doesn't make sense. Anyway, take that. Where did the Octobomber go? Did I take out the Octobomber? I guess so. This is a very cool idea for level, having fog like this. I do like it. It's just so weird. From what I'm used to. Hello! Okay. Just going through here. I'm sure I'm gonna miss something. Okay, interesting. Nope. That didn't work. I can't do it very well now. Ah, uh, that was really sad. Because I was supposed to throw those, and then they'll wherever they land is where the ink strike things land. But I didn't go through the grate like I was trying to, for some reason. That was really weird. Anyway, it's fine. Let's take out that, and that. Oh, hello! You're a thing. Yep. Okay. There's also an Octo Sniper up ahead. So let's hit that. Take you out, and there we go. That was cool. And there we go, more fish eggs, power eggs, that one. We have so many of those. Next level. Shoot on rails. Reach the goal using ride rails and pre precision <laughs> precision sh shooting. And there's a bamboozler, which could be good. Oh yeah, I'm trying this. Let's go. Okay, both of those. Oh, right, rails. Also, there's trees down there. Let's ride and hit the targets as well. Jump like you've never jumped before. Why is there a thing there? That's interesting. Oh, because we're going back this way. If I can jump to the thing... I'm not mad. I'm just mad. Very mad. I also have splat bombs that I could use for precision. Okay, I can just jump like that. Cool. I was a bit concerned that I wouldn't be able to for some reason. Okay, there we go. 
Checkpoint. We did get an extra life back from that, which is interesting because that used to be a thing. But I guess not in this, so. Unless I died twice. I didn't die twice though, did I? I don't think so. Probably is a good idea to use splat bombs when there are two of them. Or three of them. Bamboozle with the best of them. Maybe. So I want that. Just because. It seems like a lot more to this level. Okay, interesting. Very interesting. Nice. Nice. I think this goes on a loop, so I don't need to worry about missing them as much. But not missing would also be good. Up and up you go. That was close. It's fine. Need to hit all these. Really good at this, Agent 3. One more time. I missed. That's a really rude place to put that, though. On the opposite side of the thing. There we go. Rail keeps going up. That's a cool idea for the rail going up like that. Once I go. To the end. Looks like you're in the clear. Nice job. Cool. Very cool. I like that level. It didn't get as much fun stuff with the bamboozler, though. Because there wasn't really enemies, it was just shooting targets. Okay. Also, hero gear, I can't do that until I have one more sardinium. But let's go do some jumping around in style. Simply zip test zip -castic. Use the zip caster to make your way up and reach the goal. I approve of this message. Let's go zip caster. With, you know, just a fairly basic weapon, but anyway. Should be fun, get the Zipcaster ready. Oh yes, oh yes. What did I look on- lock onto? I don't know, but it's really cool what's happening right now. So cool. So cool, I think I skipped a few things, but that's okay because this is just cool. Up. Oh, hang on. There we go. Get rid of you. Get all this. Go up. I guess it's the way I'm going up now. That's one way to find you out if you're afraid of heights. The skies are real pretty and real- oh, I didn't see the rest. Is there more to this? I'm assuming I'm not supposed to do it like that. But anyway, that's the goal. Well, look at that clear time, though, because I all I did was jump up. And if I ignored the power eggs, I would have been even faster. That was cool, though. <laughs> there was definitely a lot of different ways to do that level, though. Ah, uh, let's go to the next level. Not that much more to go. You'll go far if you shoot far. Sending flying in all directions, and reach the goal. Explosher. Oh, that's powerful. 
I can feel it. I can feel the power. First, looks like this first step, ink that switch. Made the platform move. Yes, it's crazy. Okay, let's get rid of you. Maybe. Okay. Didn't do as much damage as I was expecting. Oh, but that did. Surprisingly. It seems to have a second explosion if it actually hits them. From a sp specific distance. Somewhat, maybe? I don't know. It's here for me, apparently. But it's really cool when it does work. There we go. Hang on. It's not doing it now. But it's still fun. Oh, the wall opened. Okay. This plat switch is behind the glass. Can we think you can ink it from here? Yes, I can. There's a way forward. Why is this so exciting? I don't know. Also, this is just good for inking things, apparently. It spreads so much. I can see the goal. Just climb up those ramps. Sure, but Agent 3 has to clear the plaza of all the Octarians first, and they're plentiful. Doesn't seem too bad. Mink consumption is on this is interesting. Not sure whether to say it's a lot or just average. Where am I actually going right now? Over there, right. There's a path forward, start climbing. I shall do. Kinda want the armor just in case I can make it to the end with it. Not that it's gonna matter that much, but still. I can also paint all that, I guess, and take the shortcut. Nope, not like that. Why didn't it jump? Why? Okay. Didn't get the running jump that I needed. It's fine, but we get this armor back, luckily. Just gonna go up the normal way. Okay. Let's get rid of you. And that's it. Eat ink... Eat, eat ink, Sniper. That's it. I'm tired again. Possibly. It's very draining doing the extra weapon stuff. But there we go. So many things. So many power eggs. Okay, last level of this area. All the way over here. Learn to reflect. And this one is in the bank. Use the angle sh uh, shooter to reach the goal. If you say so, I shall do it. I'm kind of sad there are only so many worlds that there are. Because I like having the split path, even though I didn't use it that much. Anyway, let's take this plush matic plus whatever that is. Hang on, what's the sub-weapon for this? Interesting. Kind of reflects off of things. That's really cool. That's really cool. Just need to keep an eye on ink consumption. Get that splat switch. Very nice. Good thing you've got this angle shooter. Hang on. Take everything out with the angle shooter, apparently. Nice. More ink. What what saw me? And where? Over there. Well, let's do that. I was really hoping that would do more damage by bouncing off the wall or something, but no. Okay. Hit bow, all those. Okay, it's getting faster. There we go. Nice job. So we can just kind of I 
I missed. The angle that it sh shoots at is weird. Just a little bit. Oh, hey, we can hit that balloon from here, can't we? Nope. Not from there, but maybe from there. No, it's behind a wall. How dare you. I, I see what I was supposed to do there, but it wasn't obvious 30 seconds ago. It's fine. Let me just do this without wasting so much ink. Come on, ink, really. It uses so much ink to use, apparently. Not really, but apparently, it yeah, just rapid fire just does a lot. Now, we need to shoot from over here somewhere. Probably like right here. To hit the balloon, there we go. That wasn't obvious to me before, for some reason. I should It should have been, but it wasn't. Okay. Let's splat that switch, if possible. Like that. Oh, there's more. It's rotating in a different direction now. And also, the thing's not there. But it is? But it isn't. Oh, it's over there. There we go. So good. I wouldn't say that. Also, I can't do that, apparently. But what I can do is probably that. Maybe. And shoot it from behind it. Using tricks. Come on. There we go. This is an interesting level. But I probably could be a lot better at it. What are we looking at here? That's a good question. One, two, three, four... Plap stations. Oh, hello. Well, let's hit you. That didn't do as much as I was hoping for. Ah, uh, there's something I can probably rebound off of. Like that there. Which means we can rebound off that there if I was closer to it. Like that. Which activates... Something? Oh, that there. Really? Wow. This is a very ambitious level in its design. Like, very ambitious. Oh, really? Come on. Come on. Really? Come on. There we go. That activates this. Which means that we can now rebound for that. And there we go. Love to watch an artist at work. Nice one, Agent 3. Okay. What have we got now? Trying to rebound off of things... for things? Well, that works. Not exactly the way I was supposed to do it, but let's uh, ignore that. Let's do it this way, though. It's a lot more effective. Take that. Nice. That's the last of them. Way to go, Agent 3. Very nice. Four minutes, though. That was a bit slow. Could have been a lot faster if I knew what I was doing. Also, hang on. That's just, that's that pipe there. I was I thought I was like on the opposite side of the map, like over here. And I was concerned that that was coming from Site Six, which would be cool. Uh, but anyway, now I should probably get the rest of the area on the map. Good to check underneath the kettle icons, because I missed one over here, somehow. Well, I think that's all of it, so let's head back to Site 1. Zero. One? Zero. One. Huh? No, it is one. I'm crazy. I can't count, apparently, or something. I don't know. 
I keep having this problem every time I go back to the, the site one. I think I'm re I, I'm seeing the three icon and it, I'm thinking it's um, and then my brain thinks it's a two or something like that. But anyway. You really scoped out this place thoroughly. Here, Asian One and I made this map based off on your work. Another sticker. Very cool. Also, I just want to look at this for another second because I- it's probably something, but I don't know what. Like this cage. Some sort of car vehicle thing. I'm assuming this goes inside of it somehow. I don't know. It's gonna be interesting. Unless it's a helicopter. <laughs> I, I doubt it, but I don't know. I don't know at this point, so it could be anything. But let's head back to... I guess the next site, actually. Although I do want to actually get... The extra weapon stuff, and that's probably... Now's probably a good time to do that. Splatbrella. And we get to keep our little buddy with us. Not that much different with this brella, but it's nice to have a shotgun-like weapon, I think, for this. Even if it isn't that much different. Oh, really? Okay, fine. Well, it worked, but at what cost? There's also two of these Octobombers here, and they have the special move to move around. There's also a secret over here, apparently. Just some extra fish eggs. Let's do this better this time as well. Nowhere they can run, nowhere they can hide. That one survived somehow. Probably be using the brella part of the brella. Oh my goodness, it's still exploded. How? I love the power that the brella has as a shotgun. New record. It's just good to get up in the faces of the enemies like that. Since you have a shield and you also are strong. Dynamo Roller. Oh, so strong. Come on. Come on. There we go. That worked a bit better. Could have been <laughs> better than that, though. Goodbye. Remember, you can still move your, and your shop before it throws completely. Also, if you run, I think that's bad because it still does the animation. That's probably a lot better than the other times so I've done that. Also, ow. Also, bye. I had to get my revenge on him. Try Stringer. I'm interested to see how this goes. Have to be precise. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's that much different, other than the fact they have that. Ah, ha oh. other than the fact that you have burst arrows. New record though, because I knew where the secret hidden thing was. Jet Squelcher. Not a charging weapon this time. Just need to keep shooting basically and not run out of ink. How and why? Why? Every time. This is what gets me, is I do the same thing, but it does it differently for some reason. I think you have to be, like, not doing something while moving to actually do the jump correctly. Or have the control stick exactly 90, de 90 degrees in the direction you're trying to jump. I don't know what it is. It's just sometimes I just don't jump to the thing next to me, and it's really annoying. Like that. Why did that not work? Why did that not work before? I was doing the exact same thing. I don't know. Anyway. It's a user error. But I don't know why. That's a very good range on this. Somewhat. Yeah, not much different. <laughs> it has a few tiny differences, but it's really basically just the same. Guess it depends on what 
weapon you prefer. Ballpoint Splatling. This is an interesting charging weapon. It seems mid-range, but also seems long-range as well. So I'm going to say long-range. Although I think it depends on how much you charge it. I don't know, it seems to vary. I'm not sure what it is. I think actually maybe it gets further the longer you have it out, possibly. So like this, you can't reach now, but now it can, kind of. Yeah, that's interesting. Uses a fair bit of ink, depending on how long you use it, which will change the way it works completely. But it's pretty good. You can also cancel out if you need to. Reset the charge. And there's all sorts of things you can apparently do with this. It's a very interesting weapon from what I can what it feels like so far. This is an odd weapon. <laughs> like it's good, but it you have to actually let it fully charge and then let it go. You have to wait for it to actually start going all the way as well. It's certainly uh different from a normal spatling. You could also probably just tap if you wanted to, but not recommended. I wouldn't say. Oh wow, it actually spawns in a ring here. Once you take the thing out. Okay. Let's go. I think it just makes sense to go that way with this weapon. And there we go. New record. Speaking of heavyweight, Dynamo Dynamo Roller. A lot of heavyweight stuff for this level, apparently. It uses up so much ink, but it's so powerful and I like it. And you can have so much range on this for some reason. It feels so heavy, but it can still reach so far. Probably should be a bit more careful. This is why we have bombs. Definitely a bit more difficult to control for this level. But it's still good. And that's all the levels in this world. But before we end, I'd like to go to the Alterna logs. Since this one is now re ready for us. Log number five. Fresh intelligence awakens. As the inner walls of Alterna are collapsed, thousands of, of tons of rock and liquid crystal plunged into the waters below. As these crystals washed to and fro among the floatsome and jetsome of humanity's former colony, they broke into microscopic fragments. Because they had repeatedly absorbed and reflected humanity's wishes over so many years, the crystals retained the, those feelings. Little by little, the squids, octopuses, and assorted sea creature, tr creatures that thrived in the waters of Alterna absorbed these crystals into their bodies. This process continued until, one day, the marine organisms began to feel something. Something fresh. These fresh impulses bore a striking resemblance to humanity's passive desire to return to the Earth's surface. Spurred by these impulses and whatever else may have been floating in the polluted waters, the sea creatures began to evolve rapidly. Each species developed pulmonary, pulmonary resp <laughs> respiration, mobility, and other traits. Consistent with land-dwelling creatures, they began to adapt. Their intelligence grew at a remarkable pace across generations. Some species even gained extraordinary camouflage capabilities. A point of no return arrived. The sea creatures of Alterna set foot on dry land and never looked back. Like humans, they strove for the surface, of course. Uh, of course, survival on land was harsh, but the creatures were persistent. Soon they found the tunnels that humans had used to escape the apocalypse. With their path forward now clear, these fresh, fledgling, uh, fre fledgling beginning beings left the ruins of Alterna behind and set their sights on the surface world. This is so cool. <laughs> This, the the law is of this is just so cool but anyway that is it for now so thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time <laughs>